Hello everybody, I am Captain X24, and this is Hello. Now, Hello can definitely be quite tough. First I have for Alligator, which is holding Mystic Water, which will make its water move stronger. The quicker we get it down to really low health, the better, because then we'll have more time to throw Ultra Balls at it. I believe I already talked about items. I think I have something like 50 Ultra Balls. Of course, I kind of overbought because, you know, I don't want to have to stop by every so often. I want to be able to, like, you know, be covered for a while. Ho's special ability is Pressure, which make, makes your moves use uh, two uses instead of just one. So uh, for moves that have only five or ten uses, it'll be drained pretty quick. Let's see here, it's getting low health. Um, I don't really want to risk too much, so I'm going to go with just an Ice Bang. Maybe I should have done Slash instead. Eh, didn't even get the chance. Now, I did a bunch of leveling up. Of course, I EV trained my Gengar for speed. So now, with the choice band, I think, or scarf, it is faster than Ho can possibly be. Now, meanwhile, here, um, I finally evolved Pidgeotto into Pidgeot. And, let's see, I think it should be able to survive this one extra sensory. So then, a quick attack should be able to get Ho right down to really low health. Microscopic health, really. All goes well. Aw, oh, beautiful. That's what I needed. Now, Ho, of course, is pretty fast. And its speed can be something as slow as, like, 90 and as high as, like, 140 or so. Gengar's speed with the, um, with its held item ends up being, like, 141. So, you know, I'm set. I was hoping maybe I could get a Feather Dance in. I don't know if Ho even has any regular attacks. That might not make much of a difference. And, um, let's send out Gengar. With Gengar, we can put it to sleep. Assuming it doesn't miss. Um, and assuming it survives. Holy crap. I've got revives, though. So, you know. I'm not too worried about this. Might as well throw in Typhlosion now. It would be great if I had a Pokemon that would like absorb fire attacks. That's a good strategy to have, especially if that happens to be your sleeper. I don't know if that's even possible though. Um, I guess I'll go with a... I think it's a status healer. Yeah, there we go. Revives. Status healers. Gengar. It's the only real flaw in um, Gengar. Hypnosis can miss. But if all goes well, then I shouldn't have any real problems. Let's see. Smoke screen. Always worth trying out one of those. If I can get Ho's uh, accuracy to fall enough, I'll be in really good shape. You know, in fact, I think I'm going to do that for a bunch of turns. Okay, maybe not. Critical hit. But even so, just that reduction is already, like, a major step. Um, I guess I'll go back to Gengar here. And then Hypnosis. The reason it really doesn't matter that I have a choice scarf is because... It only needs to use one move, and that is Hypnosis. And, um... Let's go to Ultra Balls. Grand total of 51 of those. Let's try the first one. Wow, I thought for a sec that might have been, like, first shot. That would be a great first shot patch. But generally, it's going to take you a lot more. Now, um, forgot what I was going to say. You don't have to have a sleeper, 
but it definitely, definitely helps. First off, because those are turns that Ho is not attacking you. And second of all, because that makes it twice as easy to catch. Its base catch rate is like 3, and I might have even mentioned this at a previous point. In fact, if a Pokemon's capture rate is below 3, Master Balls can potentially fail. Um, so let's chuck another Ultra Ball. Probably should have used Hypnosis instead of that Ultra Ball. Wasn't really thinking there. Oh, sweet sunny day. I lucked out. And Hypnosis. I think Hypnosis' is ag accuracy is like 70, so it's good enough. About 2 out of 3 success chance. Let's chuck some more Ultra Balls. Legendaries are definitely going to be somewhat a time sink and certainly a money sink. After all, 1200 per Ultra Ball. You know, definitely some going down the drain. I might have also mentioned before, if you have a Pokemon that knows like um, a move like False Swipe, I don't know if there are any others, but I think the False Swipe is definitely one. What it does is it can't possibly knock out a Pokemon, it'll only take it to one health. You know, should it get that far. Um, and so it's great for catching legendaries, or if you happen to find like a shiny Pokemon, that's a good way to, you know, not knock it out. Doesn't help that I'm still a bit underleveled. Damn it! Um, yeah, it doesn't help that I'm still a bit underleveled, so its attacks definitely do damage. Next hypnosis. I'm running out of uses for it. Um, still got five more. I mean, it says ten, but because of pressure, it's five. So yeah, unfortunately, I'm not able to absorb quite as many hits. Like, you know, when you're at a point in the game where you're just, like, getting a few legendaries, like, last few or something, especially ones that you get, like, in the after game and stuff and can get, like, anytime you want. You can get Ho anytime you want, but I figured this is the time my most people are gonna, like, want to go for it. So, um, I'm showing it off. Oh, yeah! Yeah, baby! Now it's a party. Um, Ho was caught. Sweet, that took, like... A dozen Ultra Balls? Maybe ten? Oh, there we go. Rainbow Pokemon. My original plan was actually to get a shiny Ho and a shiny Lugia. Just I thought that would be the coolest thing for the walkthrough, but then I realized how much time that would take. Um, because I'd get like two software sets done per minute. Yeah, it, it got ridiculous. What we're talking to them says. You also caught it. You are so wonderful. There is nothing more for us to say. Take good care of yourself and your journey. Yeah, we're so amazing. Alright, let's move on. Pidgeot, fly to the Pokemon Center. Let's heal up. And, uh, frankly, let's go for a walk with our Ho-Oh. <laughs> we got some time left. I'm not really sure what I plan to do- Oh, somebody called. Whoops. Not really sure what I plan to do with... Ho-Oh. Let's see. Um... Or not with Ho-Oh, but um, with like the next part of the video, because you know we're like nine minutes in. Well, actually, I have a little extra stuff to add in. So, all right, um, let's see what else we can get here. I'm gonna put Gengar away for now. Kind of keep it on vacation. All right, we got our boxes nice and organized. Also took out an egg, as you might have noticed in the top screen. It's, uh... It doesn't really matter what it is. It's gonna hatch into a Cleffa, though, and I think it's fairly close to hatching. So just to kind of show it off, switch to ho -Oh. It's holding a Sacred Ash, which is a great item. In fact, I'm gonna take that. And there we go, that's how ho -Oh looks. Pretty epic. Also looks really cool as a shiny if you ever get the chance to find those sprites. And, uh, let's see. Sacred Ash, if I recall, it, um, it's like a revive, but it works on your entire team.
Yeah, it revives all fainted Pokemon and restores all their HP. So it's like a max revive that works on your entire team. Um, yeah, I'm probably just going to keep it there for like display or something. I don't really know. But yeah, there's ho for you guys. I don't really know what else to say. And next part... Dang, in the next part, I guess we're gonna get get heading off. Good fight the Elite Four. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I might do a tiny bit of leveling up. But I think for the most part, I'm not really going to. I'll try and fight the Elite Four with my current team. I may or may not use Gengar. Because, you know, hypnosis. But Gengar is not too powerful, it's just fast, so I'm probably gonna... Yeah, I'll stick with, like, Alakazam or something. Alright. And, uh, I guess that's it. So, if you like this video, please rate, comment, subscribe. Send this to your friends. And I will see you guys next time, where I guess we're gonna go start fighting the Elite Four. Alright, and this extra clip. Felt it was worth throwing it in somewhere. Um, because, you know, it'll be worth definitely making mention of this at some point. What I'm just doing is I'm taking Moonstones and evolving my Nidorina and Nidor um, Nidorino sorry, into Nidoqueen and Nidoking. And also various other Pokemon that evolve only by Moonstone. For example, you got um, Clefairy to Clefable, Jigglypuff to Wigglytuff, and there's a few others, I think. So, um... Uh, just felt it was worth tossing this in. I got a lot of Moonstones from the Night Sky's Edge Pokewalker course. If you have, like, if you got that course, I believe that came with Jirachi. If you downloaded that. Or if you got that from the GameStop event prior to the HGSS release. That's a great way to get some Moonstones. I have, even now, that's like the third evolution I've done, I have five left. And I mean... You know, I got another Pokemon in there, so I'll probably can't. It'll probably come back with, you know, three, four more. So yeah, like I said, that's a great way to get some Moonstones. Um, if you don't have the course, the best thing would be to like if you have a friend that does, then get it from there, uh, from them through like the Wonder Card or whatever, Wonder Gift. Otherwise, there are other ways to obtain moonstones, but, you know, this is the easiest way.